गार्डन ऑफ दी हर्मिटेज शाशपानी चरंतम वॉकिंग एंड ईटिंग द सॉफ्ट ग्रासेस देवगुप्तम बींग प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द डेमे गॉड्स द्रक्ष्यामी शेल आई सी ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपट बाई हिस्स डिवाइन गेस ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वयं शिल प्रभुपाद शिल प्रभुपाद की जाए एलास इट इज पॉसिबल दैट आई शेल अगेन सी दिस एनिमल प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द लॉर्ड एंड फियरलेस ऑफ टाइगर्स एंड अदर एनिमल्स शेल आई अगेन सी हिम वॉन्ड्रिंग इन द गार्डन ईडिंग सॉफ्ट ग्रास Please repeat. Alas, is it possible that I shall again see this animal protected by the Lord and fearless of tigers and other animals? Shall I again see him wandering in the garden, eating soft grass? Purpur by his divine grace, A C Bhakti Vedanta Swamshila Prabhu Pad ki jai. Maharaj Bharat thought that the animal was disappointed in his protection and had left him for the protection of a demigod regardless he ardently desired to see the animal again within his ashram eating the soft grass and not fearing tigers and other animals Maharaj Bharat could think of only the deer only of the deer and how the animal could be protected from all kinds of inauspicious things from the materialistic point of view such kind of such kind thoughts may be very laudable but from the spiritual point of view the king was actually falling from his exalted spiritual position and unnecessarily becoming attached to an animal thus degrading himself he would have to accept an animal body please repeat sorry uh, translation alas is it possible that i shall again see this animal protected by the lord and fearless of tigers and other animals shall i again see him wandering in the garden eating soft grass om agyana timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshur militam jena tasmay shri gurave namaha so in this section of bhagavatam we are reading about the activities past times and character of a great devotee of the lord named bharat and bharat maharaj very exalted personality and son of rishab deva and rishab deva is personality of garat and he assembled all his sons together in bhagavatam canto 5 chapter 5 where the past times of vishab they started in text 1 he says my dear sons don't get engaged in these things of eating mating sleeping defending which are common between animals and us so don't behave like vit bhojan nayam deho deho bhajan ne loke kashtan kama na rahati vit bhujangi तपो दिव्य पुत्र गजेन सत्व शुद्धिया यस्मा ब्रह्म सौख्यतनंदम माई डियर सन्स प्लीज डू नॉट एंगेज इन दी एक्टिविटीज विच आर नॉट मैं फॉर एन एग्जॉल्ट इज पोजिशन ऑफ ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ लाइक ईडिंग स्लीपिंग मेटिंग एंड डिफेंडिंग आहार निद्रा भय मैथुनम सामान्य में तद पशु भी नाम धर्मो ही एको अधिको विशेषो धर्मे ही न पशु ही समान सो ऋषभ देव टॉट हिज सन्स लाइक दैट एंड भरत महाराज द ओल्डेस्ट वन टू किट वेरी सीरियसली ही रूल द किंगडम एंड एट सम पॉइंट ही डिसाइडेड टू रिटायर टू परस्यू कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस ही वेंट टू द फॉरेस्ट सो लुक एट दिस सिचुएशन such a great personality great king of the whole world nice kingdom 
nice queen, children, everything, princess, princess. Everything running fine, but he decided to retire. Van Prastha. So when he went to the forest, look at the thing. He got into touch with a deer, doe, and he began to think that he is the one who will protect this small doe, the uh, kitten or the child of a deer. And uh, he would try to see Om Namo this and then suddenly he will see deer. So the, the point here is, this story is going on and on and on. But the point here is, sometimes we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, so same thing, very same thing. Oh, I'm, I'm this, uh, you know, temple president and I have to, oh, this arati and this curtain and same thing. And my son and my daughter, they are there. I say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So this is the same thing. So we are also, so this is a lesson for us. So I want to get to the conclusion of this thing. Why? Because we have to cover three more things. Snan Yatra, disappearance of Mukunda Datta, and disappearance of Kola Becha Shridhar Pandit. So I would just get to the conclusion of this whole story going on and we'll recap a little bit on the Bhagavatam because we have some time because property is small and we have been studying about Bharat Maharaj. Bharat Maharaj did this. He had got attached to deer, looking at the deer all the time and he was saying, Yes, Dhyā Prabhā Prabhavato. Where is my deer? So it's like that. So the finally, he was thinking of deer that I offended him, you know. So he became deer next life. So finally, he learned the lesson, but very hard way, you know, got to deer and then got, but by the grace of the Lord. So it can happen to us also. We are doing Nama Prad, Nama Havasa, so many things. But at some point, we have to come to the pure chanting. And if that doesn't happen, Arjuna asked same thing to Krishna in chapter 6. What happened to the person who pursued the path of Krishna consciousness and could not finish it? But Krishna said, never mind. He will come back in two ways. Shuchinam Shimatam Gehe Yoga Bhrashta Vijayad. He will come with the aristocratic family, nice body, health, education, everything. So Krishna never, never, never forgets whatever little bit we do for him. Bhagavad Gita 2.40 Neha Vikram Nasho Asti Pratya Vayu Navidyate Svalpa Masya Dharmasya Trayate Mahato Bhyad So whatever we are doing, Krishna never forgets. So kind, so merciful. You go to a college for a degree. First year, second year, third year, and you didn't go through fourth year. Will you get a degree? No. But in Krishna consciousness, the beauty is you are up to third year done. Whenever you will get into the college again, you are in fourth year. I remember in our Boise temple in America, I was, uh, my, my house is next door to it, like a boundary wall of the temple and my house is same. And uh, I went to the morning arati as usual and I saw a young boy, Christopher. I didn't know at that time, but he's dhoti, kurta, tilak and mal and everything and chanting Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktivinoda Hare Krishna. And I bore down that some devotee is listening from some place and I was, oh, I didn't know. But then I learned our um, temple president, Anadur Prabhu's wife, Aruddha Mataji, she goes out every day somewhere, distribute books because we are right at the close to the campus. So I met to Prabhu, where from are you visiting Prabhu? He said, Prabhu? He didn't know Prabhu. So he said, uh, uh, I met uh, your one lady yesterday in Boise State University. I got Bhagavad Gita from her. Yesterday he got Bhagavad Gita from Mataji and today he is sitting in the temple in morning Aarti with all Kanti Mala, beat back, Tilak and everything, Dhoti Kurta, nicely pronouncing everything perfectly with full pronunciation, no mistake. And I was shocked. Just in 24 hours, I told him Prabhu, I am calling you Prabhu because you are Prabhu. And the thing is, you brought so much from your previous life. 
like if this temple was opened for you to come here and finish up the process amazing so this thing can happen this is krishna consciousness movement of shila prabhupad where wherever you stop you will start again and we see many 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 examples and past times of many devotees here other places how they come up you know quickly and start chanting and my story i went to america in 1993 to do my phd and when i landed in the temple right just after a week our temple president said thank you for coming to america land of dreams three car garage beautiful wife children nice house nice roads sone ki lanka rakshasas are very beautiful everything and uh, nice demons very healthy body tall smart everything and uh, nice drinks meat and everything is available and he just saved me right there in one week he told me don't watch tv do not this do this don't go out my life was saved right there in just one week he gave me all the clues of the philosophy of american standards and then immediately i said so why i accepted immediately because that was my karma i left the process somewhere in the past and i got it just in a month i uh, used to eat eggs like any average indian boy having a degree in engineering he must all these you know because otherwise he's out outcast you know like, you don't drink you don't take beer smoke so i was outcast same way so um to be in caste i was doing whatever was necessary to do and then uh, in the first day in the class anadul prabhu said no meat eating no intoxication and i came back my apartment i saw this carton of 24 eggs and a can of six beers i thought maybe uh, i can throw all of this after i finish this whole thing but then i said you know get to get out of this thing right now i dumped everything bag of onions eggs and everything done It was 1993 march 7th i landed in the temple and march 14th i was done with all those things for last almost 21 years now so the point here is it's never late and we got this much as soon as that spark is given shown light you know fire, fuel immediately fired up so that's that happened similarly many many western devotees they were doing every no, thing nonsense that was taught to them from their culture but as soon as they came in touch with shila prabhu pad with maha mantra immediately they became big big sanyasis this is krishna consciousness this is power of this maha mantra this is the power of the association of devotees so same thing with bharat maharaj he fell down from that platform which is bhava platform which is very exalted position the next stage was just prema done go back to god it never come here again but there was one lesson to be learned for him and for all of us finish this process right now in this life similarly many many devotees when we came to krishna consciousness somebody asked prabhu chant hari krishna i cannot that's why asked to me same way so but we began to chant then somebody says oh just chant dance eat prasadam be happy but then somebody brings a broom prabhu can you swipe this i didn't know that okay prabhu can you you know cut up in kitchen oh really okay so then we began to you know all our thoughts goes out and we rub our elbows on each other like uh, hanuman swami says that we is gone like a bag and we are all rocky rocks and big sharp edges the bag is shaking hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare finally everyone is out of the bag shining marble so that's the point. we will get there so bharat maharaj similarly he got into this situation and he finally got birth in a family of brahmana and he acted like a deaf and dumb and later on and on so many stories with maharaj um, rahu gada and everything and so i won't get into that part but the lesson is the message is no matter how much we are preaching no matter how much we are serving 
no matter how much exalted power position we have in temple and scorn but the key thing is our sadhana fall down of bharat maharaj was not because he was showing mercy to a deer which is good thing we should be merciful we should be considerate of others we should help others the concept is not that just kick everyone no be merciful be nice but do your sadhana because bharat maharaj gave up his own morning program 4164 our slogan is 4164 rise 4 o'clock or earlier than that chant 16 good rounds and follow four regular principles that's it and hanuman swami says you have a contract with prabhu pad as long as you are doing this 4164 he will take you back to god at himself maybe sometime from back door but that will happen so the point here is we have to continue our sadhana never gave it up like bharat a uh, slightly slight mistake look at this iskon devotees they gave a family they gave friends they gave, gave up all jobs so many things and now they came to iskon and they got in trouble here also because krishna consciousness is like a walking on a blade sharp shura se dhara is like very little mistake finish bharat maharaj so we take this lesson and move on but i just want to recap like this bhagavatam whole bhagavatam canto 1 canto 2 canto 3 4 and 5 so mostly it is like uh, now from 3 to 9 there is a manu manu lila and from 3 to 7 is a swambhu manu and swambhu manu have how many children swambhu manu children dapap dehuti akuti prasuti uttanpan and priyavrata the pup d a p u p so what does it mean devuti got married to kardama muni and then got kapila and everything third canto and then akuti got with uh, i forget the name daksh i think uh, so then uh, prasuti got married with daksha that's a fourth canto and then uh, uttan pad dhruva story and everything in fourth canto second half and then descendants prach uh, prachetas and everything in the fifth canto now we are studying about priyavrata so priyavrata and then agni thara then rishab deva and then on and on now with uh, rishab deva and uh, his son bharat so this is how bhagavatam is organized so we must read all this bhagavatam and story is very nice so let's go into the part of uh, so any questions so far on this bharat maharaj and bhagavatam and leela any question so far okay that's good we learn everything so now let's get into uh, first of all so we are going to talk about disappearance of mukund datta and mukund datta was born in the chatagrama district in the village of uh, chanhara which is under the jurisdiction of the police station in patia this village is situated 10 crores or about 20 miles from the home of pundrik vidyanisha is geography where the things are located so the the thing is in whatever we see in lord chaitanya's leela everywhere is mentioned what were they doing in krishna leela so that's a general uh, understanding that uh, we uh, so in braja there were two very nice singers named mukund madhu madukantha and madhu vrata they appeared in chaitanya leela as mukund datta and vasudev datta so here is the background so they were what they were doing in krishna leela so when chaitanya lord chaitanya was a student mukund datta was his class friend so we can understand mukund datta's position like chaitanya mahaprabhu's class fellow and they frequently engage in logical arguments because mukund datta is very philosophically inclined and will with argue with lord chaitanya on mayava this and that and uh, sometimes lord chaitanya mahaprabhu would fight with mukund datta using tricks of logic when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu returned from gaya mukund datta gave him pleasure by reciting verses from shrimad bhagavatam about and krishna leela from 10th canto and everything 
Mukunda Tata sang in the courtyard of when Mukunda Tata sang in the courtyard of Shirvas Pan Prabhu, Mahaprabhu danced. So he's a great singer, wonderful singer. With his singing, and when Lord Chaitanya for 21 hours exhibited an ecstatic manifestation known as Shata, Shata Praharya, Mukunda Dutta inaugurated the function by singing. So, the best time was that Mukunda Dutta, very philosophically, logically inclined and with associated with Mayavadi, he to devotees and Lord Chaitanya would become angry on him, chastise him like anything. So, Mukunda Dutta was once forbidden to enter the association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because of his mixing with the Mayavadi impersonals. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very strict. Mayavadi bhashya sunle hoya sarva nash. That was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's position. And here is Mukunda Dutta, his associate classmate. He is associating with impersonalist Mayavadis very often. So Lord Chaitanya said, don't. So when Lord Chaitanya manifests his Mahaprakash, he called all the devotees one another, one after another, and blessed them. While Mukunda Dutta stood outside, but the Lord replied, I shall not soon be pleased with Mukunda Dutta. Very angry on him. For he explains devotional service among non-devotees or devotees in a you know, mix-up way. But then, yeah, so he speaks to devotees and then he goes to Mayavadis. So, but he then goes to Mayavadis to hear from the Yoga Vashistha Ramayana, which is full of Mayavad philosophy. For this, Lord Chaitanya Singh, for this, I am greatly displeased with him. Hearing the Lord speak in that way, Mukunda Dutta, standing outside, was exceed, exceedingly glad. So look at this. Lord Chaitanya is very unhappy. But he is happy. Why? Because Lord Chaitanya said, I am not pleased with him at this moment. But when the Lord understood that Mukunda Dutta was going to give up the association of the Mayavadis for good, he was pleased. And he at once called to see Mukunda. So the point here is, uh, he chastised and Mukunda Dutta corrected himself and then he immediately called Mukunda Dutta. Thus, he delivered him from the association of Mayavadis and gave him the association of pure devotees. The point here is, sometimes we see some chastisement. The lesson here with the Mukunda Dutta, the disciples here today, we can learn that when he was chastised by Lord Chaitanya, that give up this Mayavadi association. It's not good. So, because he was very philosophically, logically inclined, but he took it to heart and surrendered to Lord Chaitanya. So similarly, sometimes we are chastised but for some things, Prabhu, don't do this. So we shouldn't take it as an ego. You know? We should take it as a, as a message from the Lord, as a uh, mercy of the devotees. Not to take it as a personal. Because devotees' motives are to help us out. Otherwise, what is the use of associating with devotees? Association of devotees means association through service, association through hearing. These are the two main ingredients. If the Pariprashnyan, Sevaya, two things, we are asking, getting information, getting instructions while serving. Without serving, no meaning of association. Association means sitting together. Prabhupada was speaking in one lecture. He said, look, So association means Prabhupada is speaking one time and a fly sat on his hand. And Prabhupada said, you are associating with me. The fly is also associating with me. She is simply giving me trouble and botheration. But you are giving me pleasure because you are serving. Because you are listening my instructions because you are reading Bhagavatam, because you are chanting. But this fly is simply giving me pain, sitting on my wands. So the point is, we want to associate with each other and by service, by taking instructions. This is Mukunda Dutta's pastime. Let's move on to a Kola Vecha Sridhar pastimes. His disciples did today, very, very exalted devotees. He was sitting, his heart is leaking from everywhere, it's raining, and people are coming, Kola Becha, Shridhar, 
your heart is just you know is leaking from everywhere chidra everywhere get it repair get some more money that's what we say get more money have a car you don't have a car what cell phone you have got you are what you have as a cell phone samsung apple oh your low standard get aside so this is our status you are what is your car you are what is your cell phone your what is your house this is materialistic prahlad maharaj got enticed by his all classmates like that prahlad come on just have fun play kill back boro steel hrinam kritva kritam pived yava jeevam sukham jived asya bhasmasya dehasya kutah punaragman bhavet yes back boro steel have fun who is going to come after the whole world is following charvak muni this is the philosophy of charvak muni and the whole world hrinam kritva kritam pived take credit credit card you know in america people they just have this plastic credit card and they just keep spending and spending and spending get bankrupt and then they get file this and that come back out again and get some counseling don't do this don't do this why you did that you got and then finally they get settled there's a program like that they start doing same thing again so rinam kritva and ghritam pibet enjoy yavat jeevam sukham jeevet as long as you live yes do whatever is necessary to get enjoyment like uh, this uh, ajamila begin to do like you know cheat everyone and gambling and doing so many things but then uh, um when the body is burnt to ashes who is going to come finish this is what the whole world believes christians they very strongly believe that is very hard to preach them in america because they said you know just believe in christ go back to you know god had and done just have faith in christ that's all need not to do anything because you cannot do anything because you are so fallen and you can never rise you're done but take mercy of christ and you're done this is not possible we have to act dharma dharmam tu sakshat bhagavat pranitam we have to follow the law we have to follow the rules That's why Bhagavatam Dharma Pohita kehta hai atra param nirmatsara naam satam. All the cheating religions have been kicked out from Bhagavatam. Why is that? If you do this, you will get that. If you will do this, you will get that. That's why Narad Muni chastised Vyasadev. Vyasadev said, "I am sad, Guru Maharaj, but you must be sad. But why you must be sad? It's because you have just put the whole the Vedas together just to engage people in what? Karma Kanda." That's why you are said. What should I do, Guru Maharaj? But glorify Krishna. Then he started writing Bhagavat and everything. So the point is, unless we come to the point of Krishna consciousness, there is no use of any knowledge, anything. So that's why he was he wrote all this, you know, Bhagavatam for us. Nice, nice stories. Like one time, Hanuman Swami was giving class, and he said, "Temple presidents." daughter committed suicide in the temple courtyard who was the wife of food for life director and everybody was shouting maharaj in what is con temple did that happen that the daughter of the temple president who was married to the director of food for life she committed suicide in the temple courtyard in front of everyone what temple maharaj maharaj said, no 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 daksha's daughter she committed suicide because food for life director lord shiva so the point here is whatever we see today in iskon and whatever is said in bhagavatam is same thing because lord chaitanya's leela is still going on it didn't stop so we are 10000 years our chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya leela is going on it never stop so the point here is we take lessons please read bhagavatam i personally can tell you i started reading bhagavatam only 5 years ago in last 21 years of my scorn and always felt like who asked me to chant i was okay but you know i was always thinking uh, hari krishna hari krishna always pain you know like somebody asked me and i got this initiation because this anandrupa said me 
and you know now I have to chant rise early in the morning every day. You know, but this is not okay. Because then I have to show everyone. I have to show everyone because I put tilak and I speak some verses also. I must chant. So the audience are saying, "Okay, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna." But then because that's that's how we sometimes that sometimes like you know in survival mode, just like hanging on to his gun like this, it happens. But the beauty thing is, the beautiful thing is, we have to realize at some point why I'm in this gun. Oh. Guru Maharaj gave me this ghanti and I have to do this evening art. That's my seva, Prabhu. I have to do it. I cannot go anywhere without my doing this seva. So this can happen. And this is hap- why this happened now. Let's get to the conclusion. Why this happened? First of all, 4, 6, and 4. That's our fundamental bottom line formula. And second thing is not reading books. That is the biggest problem. And that was that the same problem manifested in me also. But when I started reading Bhagavatam five years ago, Mercy of Bhagavatam, Krishna Sudhamo Bhagate, Dharma Gyanadi Bhi Saha, Kalaudashtana Shameshe, Pura Narko Dhunadhita, Krishna is manifested in this book. So when you read, you are assuring Krishna. When you read Bhagavad Gita, Word of God, Gita, Songs of God. Reading Bhagavad Gita means, Simply you are just getting the perfect information from perfect source. Not Google is my brother, Google is my father. You know, Tameva Mata Chapita, Tameva, Tameva Google. So, so Tameva Google. Our Google is everything for us. So we don't want to Google. Our Google is Bhagavatam. Every single information is this Bhagavatam. So the point here is, we don't want to take half baked, half cooked. For example, I cook eggplant, bangan for you. It's half cooked. You are putting in a one. So half cooked is not good. So what we are getting from Google is half cooked. Information, 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 but no transformation. So transformation is necessary and where from it is coming? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare It's a key thing and reading books So that's the, let's move on to Kola Becha Shridhara So over the poor Brahmana live selling banana leaves, very simple life Somebody may say why simple life? Because if you have a big house, this room, this light is not working, that tap is not working, toilet sink is not working, my car, that other car, I had by the way two cars back there, Honda is having this problem, Toyota is having this problem, son is not doing this, daughter, all the time. That's why the story, you know, expands. Deha patyakalatra dishu, atma sanyeshu asasu api, pramatta nidhanam, pashana bina pashati. Deha, my body, Apatya, my children, Kalatra, my wife, Adishu, brother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law, friends, everything. Uh, what I am saying? Atma Sanyeshu Asasu Api. Ye meri sena hai, this is my army. Atma Sanyeshu. Very powerful. You know, my brother-in-law, he is a DIG. My son, he is an IAS district master. My, my army, they will protect me. Asasu api. Bhagavatam says, don't rely on them. Why? Asasu. Asasu means, they are with you now, but you don't, you're not sure at the time of death, whether they will be present with you or not. Pramatta tasenidana. Matta is mad. And Pramatta means, Prabhupada said, grossly mad. So we are. Pramatta tasenidana. I am seeing they are dying every day because I belong to Rurki Hardwar. And uh, it's a good experience. Every time after I come from America, one year, two year like that, and then I'll see, oh, that Halwai, Mirapur Wale, and uh, looks like, is he got young or his son got old? Oh, he died, his son is sitting, looking old. But then I look my face, I'm also looking old. So the point here is, we are seeing people are dying. All my, my parents gone. 
my uncle's gone, everyone. Mali yavat dekhi ke kaliya kare pukar, fully fully chun liyo kal hamari ba. So point is, we have to understand. If somebody tells me, I go to doctor and doctor tells me, Prabhu, you got this terminal disease and you will die maybe two, three months. And now my wife comes to me and says, Shri Hari Prabhu, you like these kachodis very much, gulab jamus very much, sandesh very much, here is for you. I will say, Tumara dima kharabu? I am dying? You are bringing this kachwadi gulab jamun? What does it mean to me? Bring me something. That's what happened. When Parikshit Maharaj was cursed, he didn't look for gulab jamun kachwadi. Immediately, find out all the saints and everything. I got this curse. What should I do? Oh, go to the back of Ganges. And just Shri Hare Krishna, Shukdev Goswami came and Bhagavatam started. First question he asked, 19th chapter of first canto Bhagavatam, Maharaj, what is the duty of a man who is destined to die, and especially like me, just in one week? Then whole Bhagavatam started after that, on and on and on. Parishit Maharaj asked Shukdev Goswami, replied, so the point is, Atharto Brahma Jigyasa, now it is the time. So we have to find out this thing. And we have to solve. Bhakti Pareshanu Bhava, Virakti Anatrasya. This is the test. Let's look at ourselves, all of us here. Those who are here and those who are not here listening on this radio or wherever. The question is 21 years ago. When I came in touch with Krishna Consciousness, I was eating egg and drinking beer. By the mercy of devotees, by mercy of Srila Prabhupada, I am here now. And now, where I want to go? That's the point. Because when I was, because now I moved by the grace of the devotees and the mercy and everything, I now moved to Vrindavan. So when I was coming to here, I was very nervous. I asked forgiveness from the, all the Vaishnavas in Boise. I touched their feet and I asked the blessings. Vrindavan is a tough place. One round chanted is counted. One thousand rounds. And one offense committed is counted as one thousand offense. We have to be very, 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 very careful not to don't want to get into any trouble with any Majas Prabhu. Avoid. So that's the key. So that's why I'm asking forgiveness here from all the Vaishnavas and mercy. So uh, let's move on to Kola Dhara. Uh, sorry, Shri Dhara. Kola Becha Shri Dhara. So uh, Lord Chaitanya, he did civil disobedience and everything and Kola Becha Shri Dhara was very happy. And uh, uh, he's a uh, uh, Cowherd boy known as Kusum Masava in Krishna Leela. So he was a cowherd boy. And now he got Kola Becha Shirdhara in Navadipa. Every day Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to him as a baby, Nimai, and will just snatch some plate from him and just run away. And Kola Becha Shirdhara would run after him and then he won't give any money. And But then he would still give, looking at the beautiful face of Nimai, banana or everything like that. So there was a pastime and Lord Krishna, Lord Chaitanya enjoyed them very much. And now let's move on to the third thing, Snan Yatra. So today is the day when uh, Lord Jagannath Baldev Subhadra, Lordships, they are bathed and how that started. So today is the day, the birthday of Lord Jagannath, Jagannath Swami Ki. Jai. So that's the birthday. Why birthday? Because Maharaj in the Dhumna, he asked this uh, uh, Isthapati to carve the deities, everything, and then Lord Jagannath Baldev Subhadra, they came in uh, their transcendental form, in, they manifested, and then um, they were bathed. The full ceremony. 
so the description little bit because these these things somebody may say okay lord jagannath bear but what do i do okay just please hear nicely the hearing will help you why because lord's bathing is not bathing like our bathing lord's bathing is a celebration when <laughs> nanda maharaj will bring out baby krishna all the cowherd men and women and everyone they get together krishna is taking bath come on and they will just hare krishna <laughs> so it's nice plan you know so lord jagannath so a day before on the previous day of snan yatra the deities of jagannath baldev and subhadra along with the deity of what is the fourth deity sudarshan hari bo so we have very knowledgeable audience here so sudarshana are ceremonially brought out from sanctum in the in a procession so lord is coming out bigels and conchels everyone is dancing hari bol and the lord is coming out and then where he comes up on the snan vedi big huge altar such a big altar where lord is taking bath or bathing ceremony you can see right from outside jagannath temple way outside they because they want to show everyone and this is lord's past time so like is bath now and then special pandala uh, is called snan mandap and uh, for the festival snan vedi is well decorated flowers and fruits and everything and then profusely with flowers and then incense and then uh, oils and so many things and then uh, with so many kinds of juices and milk and yogurt and ghee and honey so many items and devotees are chanting and lord face is all smeared with everything i mean they wipe lord off with all the things some paint got chipped off and that paint was not like paint with today the paint was very organic based on plants so even it got washed off and got mixed with the charan uh, no charanamrita so it still people will take it but then lord is taken uh, again back into his uh, what is what they call it um sick room which is called uh, uh, inside the temple ratan vedi they take there and lord jagannath baldev subhadra they are there then they are painted again and they are giving khichdi and because lord when he was is a hot weather because uh, purnima today so it's very hot weather and yesterday it rained because of you know lord was going to take cold shower today so uh, we bathe in cold water and what happened because of that his past times so lord krishna uh, jagannath he got cold he is sick now and what happens after that devotees they are giving him all kinds of teas herbal teas because lord jagannath con- you know congestion in throat congestion in nose and devotees are asking where is lord jagannath lord chaitanya is asking where is jagannath he fell down the temple oh i can't see lord jagannath jagannath swami nayana pathagami nayana pathagami bhava tumhe everyone is oh when will i see the lord when will i see the lord lord is taking shower why did you put so much water on him he got cold they are arguing with each other but i didn't know why he is so soft i can't imagine but there's all kinds of arguments going on devotees are arguing each other blaming each other for his cold and then finally lord after eating all khichdi all herbal teas and everything he was dressed again and gorgeous and pomp and show and everyone is dancing and lord is coming out shaking back and forth back and forth and everything oh my god he is the lord of the universe jagarnath jagarnath why jagarnath when britishers were here in a dictionary webster dictionary oxford dictionary the word is called jagarnath jagarnath means don't mess with don't you can't handle it why because lord jagannath is coming out millions of people are running and crying and doing